And over here you can see Hell Divers. I will add the program. And now it's going to customize this for me every time I use it. So in this case, max frame rate, I don't want to use global. I'm going to go on. And I'm going to cap it at 60 FPS. It's a quick one for all you hell divers out there. If you're having problems with your game crashing, have a look at this right now. I'm in the actual mission and it just dropped me straight into the egg hatcheries. But you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. Things are happening and you, you don't want to have your PC overheat because of that. Have a look at the current stats for the core temp. You can see that the cores here, I've got six cores. They're at 70-ish to 80 degrees. And the load is at about 60 to 90%, depending on which core it is. If your cores are overheating, then it's gonna shut down your computer and then it's going to give you problems. So what can you do, right, if you are experiencing this? Well, one of the things you can try to do is get a cooling system that is going to be able to sufficiently cool down your CPU. There are a few more things you can try besides changing the cooler or changing the CPU. You can actually go into your graphics card's control panel and cap the frames per second so that it only runs at your monitor's refresh. Over here I've loaded the NVIDIA control panel and you can go to the manage 3D settings section. If you're lazy you can just do it at global settings and you say max frame rate. You say on and just cap it say 60 fps. Because my monitor refreshes at 60 hertz so I want to cap it at 60 fps. You don't have to do that for every game because some games you might want to run a higher FPS in which case you can just select the program which you want to do. In here I want to select Helldivers so you would look for Helldivers If you can't find Helldivers you can add it and over here you can see Helldivers I will add the program and now it's going to customize this for me every time I use it. So in this case, max frame rate, I don't want to use global. I'm going to go on and I'm going to cap it at 60 FPS. Even if I have it on 60 FPS and I can produce 70 FPS, for example, it's not going to do anything for the screen. It'll still just be 60. And now when I run this game, close out of this, the temperatures are going to be much cooler. Of course the other thing is to get a better CPU so it doesn't overheat but other than that it's kind of a bit tricky because this particular game <laughs> doesn't really limit the CPU usage it just goes oh you got CPU resources I'm gonna use all of it. So until the devs sort of put a cap on it themselves they're just gonna use whatever you have. However, for anyone else who doesn't have a fantastic CPU or a little bit older, then it's going to make your computer overheat and gonna have a lot of issues. But that is why your game is causing your computer to restart and shut down.